I think in the same way that Transparent is sort of about the trans movement, I think um, I Love Dick is about the feminist movement and it's about the female gaze and it's about toppling the patriarchy and saying suck it to all men who would ask women not to have their loudest voice. Gubbins and I just got here from Washington, so we're very excited. Revved. Mm -hmm. Revved. Revved. Mm -hmm. Revved. The show is a tool of the matriarchal revolution. This show, it's about taking a, a woman who's been, a, a women who have been the subject and turning them, I'm sorry, who have been the objects and turning them into the subjects. <laughs> <laughs> what if it is about exactly the opposite? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought we would like, <laughs> yeah. It's a fantastic role. Um, it's got a lot of complexity. It was a way to um, kind of investigate the depths of, of what it's like to be a dick and dick them. I was a huge fan of, of Jill's and that along with every single woman in my life saying, don't even read the script, you're doing this one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you don't get to decide. Uh, why did you cast Kevin? You know, iconic, lovable, uh, rootable, just somebody who has so many facets of masculinity and femininity and is a fearless actor and somebody who, who also can hold the projection that our main character is going to do throughout the series of her desire onto somebody who may not really be engaging back with her. And that's a tall order for an actor, but I think Kevin Bacon just popped into our, our head and we, we, that was it. In the same way that dick is a word and bacon is a word, <laughs> dick is idealized and bacon is idealized. Like it was very much like, mm -hmm. I felt like you would understand what it, what it meant to have people think something about you because of your name. I did. You two were at the Women's March in DC yesterday. Yeah. How about yes. the rest? And Kevin, yes. I actually saw you at the march here. Never seen so many people on, on Main Street. I mean, I, I, I didn't, really expect, you know, just the Sundance piece of it to be as powerful mm -hmm. as it was. I mean, it was really kind of a magical time and, and certainly a time that, you know, just then just to see the fallout in, in, in the course of the day and, and to see the pictures and, and, you know, just that kind of building of, of excitement. I was flying here from New York and I saw Deepwater Horizon on the flight. There's <laughs> 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 that. <laughs> Uh, Jill and Sarah, what was it like in D.C.? God. It was unreal. I mean, uh, the, all the streets were filled. And as you, I stood on this bridge that was near the mall and looked at street after street after street after street. So it wasn't just a street. It was you could see from certain vantage pla places the entire city yeah. filled with pink, mm. filled with women, filled with people, and just chanting and and Singing. squishing. There was like there was almost no space to march because we took right. up so much space. Right. Mm -hmm. Like a fluid. Art, the, the arteries of the city just flooded with women and men and kids mm -hmm. and it was so humbling and people just kept engaging with each other and talking there was a there was a couple of rabble risers there's a couple of Trump floats that floated through mm -hmm. everyone kind of held it with love I mean I know that sounds hokey but it was really an outpouring the entire city yeah, I felt a very hopeful <clears throat> yes yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. I say this all the time as a, as a woman and as a woman of color and as an immigrant. Um, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid oftentimes. And uh, being around these people gives me hope. And hearing about people, um, I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's a terrifying time. And when I hear about that, and we, were, we actually were talking at lunchtime about if he spends more of his time like working social media and responding and tweeting and all of that, maybe he won't, he won't do anything <laughs> in office. <laughs> like that's our only hope at this point. That uh, he'll distract but, himself. Yeah, yeah. he'll yeah. distract himself and we can keep him distracted. So tweet away. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just want to talk about I Love Dick and the way yes. in which the show is about not just feminism, but intersectional femi feminism. Mm -hmm. So the show takes the power of women and people of color and queer people and puts them all together as a sort of named other with a capital O. And that was the biggest feeling I felt yesterday was that as you saw all of the diverse signs, you realize that we've been told that we're sort of obsessed with identity politics. But what I was able to see when Van Jones was speaking and Michael Moore was speaking and Gloria Steinem was speaking and Muslim women and Latina women and 
everybody was speaking and we realized that we actually are all one movement mm -hmm. and that is one of love and tolerance. Mm -hmm. And so there is one movement and it is growing and artistic expression in particular, freedom of speech for women and for people of color and queer people, that is the, that is the naming of of the movement giving voice to people who are otherized. And this voice is also, by the way, hilarious. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we can't we, tell we, from we, that. Yeah, I mean, look how serious she is. I know, it's but, uh, yes. yes. but you there know, there are a couple of laughs. There, there are a lot yeah. of laughs yeah. Yeah. in this thing. And, and it's it's not just what you see on in the storytelling and in, in the in where the show you know leads you and the story of these women, mm -hmm. but it's what happened behind the scenes too. We had an all-female writers' room. We had yeah. we have female directors, Andrea. Arnold, we have female AD, you know, first ADs, and everybody in all of our departments really like. There's a great diversity and representation there as well. So we made an imaginary matriarchal revolution, <laughs> and Dick is really like a word that is about patriarchy. It's it's a show about a woman who's obsessed with what Dick Dick thinks of her, mm -hmm. but it's really about a culture who's concerned about patriarchy's influence. So. Mm -hmm. The show is like, it's a perfect moment to be premiering mm -hmm. it here. We feel so it lucky. It feels imperative. Imperative. Mm -hmm. <laughs>